Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw a more complicated cat than I usually do in my other videos. Let's get started. For the drawing skeleton, you can pause this video and just copy it onto your paper or iPad, whatever media you're using. And it's just a rough sketch, so remember it doesn't have to be perfect. For the ears and the face, you're just going to draw a short curved line on the side of the face and a longer curved line, kind of like a stretched out G, on the bottom. For the ears, it's just going to be two curved lines connecting. And the top of the head is just going to be another curved line going not all the way to the other side of the face. And you're just going to copy the same thing you did for the first ear and add the inner ear, which is just another curved line, and the floof in the ear. You're going to draw a slight curve down and then start fluffing at the end of it to make the chest look fluffy. And for the leg, you're going to do a stretched out U shape and same for the back of the leg so that it doesn't look like it has stick legs. And for the shoulder, you're just going to draw a curve on top of the front line. And for the back, you're going to go down in a curve and round it off at the end. I'm going to do a few fix ups to make it look nice and clean. And for the back leg, it's just going to be another curve, more round, so that it looks like a cat's leg. Stomach is going to connect from the elbow of the front leg and the middle of the back leg. And just doing some of the other front leg, and there you go. That's the finished body of the cat. For the tail, you're going to draw a curve facing the cat's body. And you're going to draw shorter curves on the other side of the tail to make it look fluffy on one side. I'm going to just leave it there, but you can add fluff on both sides if you like. When you draw your cat's tail fluff, it's going to look kind of like waves or shark fins on one side. Or you can do ovals, half ovals, you can do circles, you can do triangles, it doesn't matter. However you want your cat to look. For the eye of my cat, I'm going to make an arc on the top of the skeleton part I added where I wanted to place my eye. If you're not using the skeleton, you can estimate, but you're going to start off with an arc and another arc sort of towards the inner part of the top of the eye. And this one is going to be a lot more curved for the bottom of the eye and the side of the eye. And I'm just going to do the other eye on the side, and that one's going to kind of be cut off because the cat's face is sort of facing sideways and forward and not all the way to the front. So I didn't show this part, but I did color the eye line black to make it pop out a little bit more once I colored it. And for the mouth, I'm just going to draw a really small line so that the cat looks a little bit more serious, but you could give yours a smile. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to adjust it a little bit to place it where I want it, and there you go. And you're going to go to the layer with your outline and you're going to turn on reference so that the color can't escape through the layer underneath it. So sometimes I like to turn off the drawing skeleton to see if everything looks good and in the right proportions because sometimes the drawing skeleton throws me off even though it's supposed to help. Your layer should look something like this. It should have three different layers. One has your skeleton and one has your outline which is reference and one is blank. The blank one is what you're going to use for your colors, and I'm going to use a dark-ish gray and color the head and the tail. So I'm not coloring all of the body because I want to do some shading, and this will make it a thousand times easier so that I can alpha lock and do a bunch of other cool stuff that I'll show you in a second. Oh, and I also colored in the back leg. And I forgot to do this back leg. and. I just added that in there, making sure it was on the outline layer that was referenced. And coloring it in two with all on the same layer. Then you're going to add a layer and color the body. And make sure that the body layer is alpha locked and you're going to add a clipping mask. Choose a darker gray and do your shading. My shading is going to be under the head and where the legs are. This is where the sun or light wouldn't hit that part of the body.
Okay, now you're gonna open layers and go to the layer with the head, the tail, and the back legs. For that, you're going to alpha lock it and add a clipping mask. This is gonna be for the shading, and you're gonna add a little bit more shading to this one since it's behind everything. And I'm just going to do that. Okay, I've done the shading of the back legs, and now I'm gonna move on to the face, and this I'm going to shade underneath the ear fluff, like here, and the eyes too. I'll add a little bit of shading kind of in the corner of the eye where the eyelashes would be to give it a little bit more depth. I've shaded the ears and the inner ear, and I'm going to move on to the eye. Like I said, just do the corner of the eye, and that's it. Alrighty, oh, this is what your cat should look like, um, whatever color it is. I'm going to add tabby stripes now. So I'm going to add a clipping mask to the body layer that's alpha locked. And this is going to be for the stripes so that it doesn't go all over the place. I love doing tabby stripes. It's one of my favorite things to do on cats. It's just so satisfying to me. Some people might think it's a little bit tedious, so you could add blotches or uh, make it a tortoiseshell cat. On real cats, tabby stripes are really random and they go on the sides, on the chest, on the head, on the cheeks, on the tail, on the arms, everywhere. For mine, I'm just going to stick with the cheeks, the top of the head, the outside of the ear, the back, and the tail. For the back, I did some just triangle ones, normal stripes, some in the middle, some going off. For the tail, the tip of the tail is going to be the dark gray, just like solid dark gray. And the stripes can be thick or thin, some can be triangles or random shapes, it doesn't matter. And uh, some can go across all the way and some can just stay in the middle. And I'm going to thin this out a little bit. I kind of went tabby stripe crazy, but you know, they're super fun. And I just love doing it. That's why all the cats I've done tutorials on so far have tabby stripes. Okay, I'm done talking about tabby stripes. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm just thinning out the tail a little bit, and your cat should look something like this. Or if it has a different pattern, then it might not. Or if yours is a different color, then it might not either. But I'm sure it looks amazing and awesome. So I'm just going to select all these layers and put them in a group so that my layers aren't as cluttered looking. And now it's time for the eyes. I absolutely love cat eyes. They're just so pretty and like unique. I'm going to use just an untitled brush and my cat's eyes are going to be green. Yours can be purple, uh, orange, yellow, whatever you want. And I'm going to alpha lock the eye and add a bunch of clipping masks. You can add as many as you like. I'm adding a lot so that I can do different things So this will make the eye look like it has shading and depth. Here's what it would look like. So like the eye lashes are kind of putting a shading on the top of the eye. And on the bottom, I'm adding a little bit of a lighter color. This is sort of how people who draw anime do things, where they add a bunch of different shades in the eye. And I'm just going to keep adding as many different types of greens as I want. You can do as many different shades of colors. Yours can have rainbow eyes or cotton candy eyes. It honestly doesn't matter. And I'm just going to adjust a few different things. I like to do like colors on the outside of the eyes. I just think it looks really pretty. So I just keep adding clipping masks uh, whenever I need more. It's great because if you add a clipping mask and or an, add a layer in between two clipping masks, then it will just make it into a clipping mask. And for the pupils, I'm just going to draw a thick straight line down and kind of curve it into a sort of like snake eye shape or cat eye shape. <laughs> and I started off with lime green, but I do turn it black in a second just so that the eye pops out a little bit more. So I do a lot of touch-ups around my drawings because I make so many mistakes. So if you make a mistake, it's totally okay. Just try and fix it up and I'm sure it'll be a-okay. And if you want me to do a video where I don't erase anything and I don't use the adjust feature, 
then comment down below or like this video or do both either one and i'm adding some like little stripes around the pupil of the cat's eye these kind of remind me of frogs i don't know why you don't have to do this for yours but i'm just going to do mine like this and i'm going to use i think perspective blur was what it's called And I'm adding all the eye layers into a group. And there you go. So I didn't show this part, but I did erase the gray behind, or I mean, inside the eye for the whites of the eye. And you're just gonna do that by going onto the layer with the head and turning off the alpha lock, then just erasing where the eye line is and in the inner part of the eye. Okay, now you're going to go to the group of brushes called Luminance, and you're going to choose the brush called Flare, and this is going to be for the highlights of the eye. Oh, that's bright, that's bright, even though it's a drawing, it's still bright. And just adjust that a little bit, just the shape, and there we go. I'm also going to add some more with the brush called Light Pen. Okay, just adding a few more highlights with a light pen at the bottom of the eye, and I'm done with this cat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more artsy crafty videos. Bye!